hands coming to you to show you how I decorated my grass wall. First, I want to say shout out to Shayla for gifting me this grass wall once she found out I got my own spot. She wanted to surprise me and give me this, which I am greatly appreciative. So here I am placing them the opposite way because I am about to connect the back together. And here I am taking my uh, sign with the name of the shop out. Uh, shout out to Etch on Wood for this sign. I put the sign right in the middle to see if the measurements of um, where I want to place it is right. Just in case I have to move some of the slabs around. So now that I see that it is perfect, I am going to move on to the next thing, which is adding on the zip ties. So these zip ties come with the package. And by the way, I did, I did figure out where she got the grass wall. So I will leave the link in the bio below. So here I'm about to add all the zip locks. Um, to the back the back they come with little holes and on some of the slabs you can just connect them easily which was a piece of cake and this was like so easy to do that I even had my four-year-old daughter helping me out which was great she likes to be hands-on just as well this part was actually the easy part it took me about 10 minutes to connect everything together this was half of the grass wall so before I finished the whole grass wall I went to my garage and I decided I was gonna spray my sign gold so I bought a spray paint from Walmart and sprayed it gold the room that this grass wall was going into had a lot of gold accents so I wanted to make sure everything meshed together by the way, this sign design was not on the website at the time I was purchasing, but someone had left the review saying how they customized it for them. So all I did was send them this design and they were able to get back with me real quick. And when I say customer service was 10 out of 10, I mean it. So this is actually my second sign from them. I love it, love it, love it. So definitely check them out etch on wood so here is my whole grass wall done i am about to cut out all the zip ties because you don't want all them sticking out like that you don't want that so here i bought some flowers from roses it cost me about 15 dollars to get all these flowers I was going more for like an exotic look, not just like a plain, boring brass wall. So I felt like it needed like a corner accent with flowers. So here I am just placing the flowers on it. I am not um, tying up anything. I just want to see what it would look like if these flowers were placed where they are placed. Now that I like the design, I am gonna go ahead and take some Ziploc and tie the flowers with the zip ties. So here is an example of how I did one. I pretty much took the zip tie, I went around it towards the back and connect it. And I made sure when I did it, I did it really tight that way it will stay in place and not move around. For the faux plants, I pretty much overlap them so you cannot see the stem. Um, and then I put flowers where the stems are noticeable. Here I'm showing you how I put my flowers. The grass wall has like little stubs, little like nipple. I don't know what they're called but long story short I just took the stem out of the flowers and just placed the flowers um, connect them in that little nipple thing and that's how my flowers were able to stay and here I had this bright idea to just paint the zip locks um, gold that way if I need it for the sign I will put it but as of right now, I did not know how I was gonna place the sign on the grass wall. Here is the room that I am gonna put it in. I am gonna tell you right now before you watch the struggle, 
I was struggling trying to put this up by myself. This is a two-man job. You need somebody holding each corner for it to stay up there. So thank God for my daughter. I was able to be like, help, help, help. Grab me a nail. Grab me a hammer. Grab me everything, please. Because if I go down, this thing is going down with me. So I was glad that she was there, my little helper, my little queen. I was able to get it done. So after I placed the nails on, um, some of the flowers did like flip up. So I had uh, push pins that I was using to put those um, plants and flowers down. This was a project that I was definitely trying to be cost effective. So on top row, I only used three nails and then everything else I used push pins. So that way it was not that many nail holes in the wall. And I tried to place the sign with nails, but I realized that didn't work as well because the sign kept sliding off the nail. So I ended up having to go to plan B and use those zip um, ties that I had painted gold, which worked perfectly. So putting up the sign, once again, my helper was holding on one side while I was placing the zip ties because the grass wall obviously was already on the wall and I did not want to take it down. So once that was done, I will say that the uh, priciest item on the grass wall is the sign and then the flowers was $15. And I can put the price that she possibly paid for it. However, I did get it for free as a gift. So I will put everything below. Overall, I absolutely love my sign. If you like it as well, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe and like and see you next video. Bye.